Ireland, Era, the Emerald Isle. Green is a strange colour, a colour of many shades and as many meanings. There are those first green shoots that mark the arrival of spring. There's the green slime of autumnal decay, the green flag of Irish patriotism, and the green eyes of jealous obsession. Then, of course, there's green tea. The final whistle is about to blow. Will Shane Ross TD give fellow left footer Senhor David Norris the last minute prod he so badly needs? Please, everybody, settle, settle, friends of the media and enemies. This is the eleventh hour of my substantial election problem. Questions, please. Senator Hall, Lord Ross from the Sindo, yes. Matty McGraw, and Deputy Lowry say they won't see you stuck. Yes. But what about Deputy Lord Ross? Well, huh? well, well why huh? don't you tell me, Lord Ross? Do you yeah. think he's simply milking it for all it's worth yeah. to ensure maximum publicity <laughs> right until the end on Wednesday? Oh, probably you've always hated me ever since we got pissed at the hist in Trinity. Now, oh. well, I can't argue. Chief, 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 it's Michael Tree Higgins from TV Tree. Oh. <laughs> May I have some free publicity, please? Well, as the two top men in the poll, I don't see why not. Although you're slightly behind me, a little bit shorter on the old poll. This dear. should be good for the transfers. Are you ready, Michael Tree? Let's do it. Provos and poetry. <laughs> Poor Michael Tree. <laughs> Penguins and dragons, but only one queen. Monumental. Letters of clemency, <laughs> Greek tragedy, <laughs> all kinds of candidates for presidency. <laughs> Dan is going to be furious. <laughs> Prime time and front line <laughs> and rigged on. Online polls, George Hook and bloody live line, media horse, oh, oh, FF he <laughs> and loud us leave, Shinner's past taboos, <laughs> all kinds of candidates. Will I get to go? <laughs> Vincent Brown's purple rings. <laughs> Quentin O'Toole Christian Rice What a size Donna <laughs> Very good Provost And Joyce Eels West Brits Come clean I'm here Gangsters And slogan cheats Mitchell and Mary Phone in The photo ops <laughs> Leaflets in hand all kinds for president on 300 grand. <laughs> that's it. That's all I can say for now. Thank you for your support today. Hopefully I'll make it. I don't know if I'm in or out yet. And that's all. Final questions. Okay, hope to see you in the Orient. Dublin won the All-Ireland. Hooray. But my friend Paul Galvin is in therapy with Derek Mooney. Said I should go to rehab, so I said, <coughs> Okay. Paul. Uh, Paul. Uh, wakey, wakey, Paul. Uh, uh, Hi. Oh, jeez, what's going on? Where am I? What is this place? Welcome to the Garden of Tranquility, what? the anger management rehab clinic with oh. tailor-made holistic treatments for every troubled individual. Trouble? Meet our therapists. How are you there, you big galoot, I'm Dr. Aini Nilona, and this is consultant Dermot O'Neill. Dermot O'Neill. And Dermot and Aina will be taking you for group therapy, Paul. What? Real soon, if you're running as smoothly uh. as a Husqvarna pet or more. What? Now, uh. repeat after me. This will help you relax, Paul. Husqvarna. 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 I'm not doing this. Husqvarna. Oh my god, you're a worse pan than Gene Byrne. Now right? hold on a second. I will not have you slagging off Men Aaron's fabulous and articulate Gene Byrne. What? Although sometimes her costumes are quite frightening to small animals. No, not Gene Byrne. Gene Byrne. You know, like when you're wearing the Calvin Klein's far too tight and they start chafing on your hamstrings Relax, and your can be lots of. Please. Husqvarna. Right here at the Garden of Tranquility, inner peace. 
peace ah. is our goal. Goal? Oops. No! But don't mention that word around me! Relax. I see that last minute Dublin goal. I mean, sleep like a... Uh, Open your eyes, uh, Paul, and look at the tits. What? And the uh, sparrows. Uh, and look, of course, at the lovely squirrels and the rats and the lovely little things playing around the leaves squirrels. and the turn all the autumn shades, of course. Uh, you have the red colours there as well. And the uh, golds. And coppers. The coppers? Uh-oh. The head hanging off me and you bringing that up. Okay, Paul. For the last time of drinking D2, right? Right. Okay. Cosmo is usually in the VIP section, you know, because I'm cool like that. But not coppers! Go easy. No, shut your mouth, you no. stupid no. girl! No. What are you doing? No, oh, it's ripping the flowers. Oh, please. It's frightening the small animals. It's nature. It's frightening. You're killing the wilderness. I'm going to burst this place oh, up. Oh, my word. I'm going to yeah. mess it up. Galvin goes wild. Bye. Here at Green Tea, we engage in telephone tapping, wiretaps, voicemail hacking and email snooping. Just don't tell the Guardian. Hi, Snuggle Bear. Hi, Muffin. I miss you. Yeah, I miss you more. You know, I'm getting so lonely down here in New Zealand, even Paul O'Connell is beginning to look good. Bud? Amy. Will you do it for me? What? Now? Yes. Over the phone? Please, for me. Okay. <clears throat> what are you wearing? Your Leinster jersey. God, just do it. Okay. Black Rock. Oh, yeah. Booters Town. Oh, that's it. Sydney Parade. Exactly. Sandy Mount. Oh, Jesus. Lansdowne Road. That's the place. Grand Canal Dock. Oh. Terminating at Hoth Junction. Oh, <sighs> you know how I love it when you talk Darcy. Are you heading southbound now, Amy? 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 Amy, are you there? Uh, excuse me, narrator. Yes, Dr. Leo. I, I was wondering, is this the way to the National Ploughing Championships? It is, uh, Dr. Leo. It's your week in the sun, you know. Oh, great, because uh, I, I was hoping to avoid them. It's not a place of comfort for me, as you understand. No, uh, you could be up to your oxters in mud, actually. Of course, you, you're a cultured woman like myself. <laughs> I am, just like yourself. Great. Uh, fancy some cricket? <laughs> All I'm saying, Tisha Kinda, is that what? it's perfectly acceptable this time of year for me to update my Facebook status. Yeah, but you change yours to does anyone require ploughing? I mean, come on, Dr. Phil, you <laughs> fix it. <laughs> oh, I love getting done and dirty at that ploughing. Ah, you do. Eesh, do. Look at that over there. Look at this. That's, that's a weather one, isn't it? Nola Carey. Jesus. Oh, she's looking well in the old pink Wellingtons, the whole lot. Oh. Wouldn't mind bringing her a load of waving piping, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, Dr. Riley, how's your health stand going? Quiet, I have a patient coming. Eesh, Hello there. Oh, I've been queuing for hours to see you, Dr. Riley. I've always wanted to visit the medical stand. It's Octa Riley. Oh, really? Cutbacks. Uh. And this is the official stand for the Department of Health. Well, it's a real honour. I've heard all about your amazing treatments. Now, what's wrong with you? Well, I have a slight wheeze in the Any green phlegm or blood, maybe? No, it's just a light wheeze. Okay. I want you to take a course of these. What are they? A few milligrams of nicotiana tobacco. Right. Mono Lucy and Automate. But these don't... Very therapeutic. They're cigarettes. That's right. D do they not give you cancer and stuff? Now, and where on earth did you hear that? Well, Magella told me. Now. I wouldn't prescribe them if they were bad for you now, would I? <laughs> uh, no, Dr. Rayleigh, I'm sorry. No. So take 40 a day for the next few months. Right. Then increase the dosage to 80 by Christmas. Should I take them with food, by the way? No. Best with pints. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Rayleigh. God bless Move you. Move along. There. Right. There's a queue of children with emphysema here to see me. Goodbye. Hello, kids. <laughs> Jeez, you're some genius, Dr. Riley. Do you know that? No, hold on a second, Tisha. Leo, what are you... Uh, you do know that that prescription is wrong. <laughs> it's a lie. You listen to me, Sonny. There are three types of lies in this world. What do you mean? Small lies, you... big lies, right, and uh... politics. <laughs> what? I, <laughs> now I... skip off home and do your interest, sir. But, but Tisha... Home, Leo. No. <sighs> hate this job. <laughs> There now follows a political broadcast on behalf of independent Sean Gallagher. Hello there. I'm entrepreneur Sean Gallagher. Hold you it. made no... no hold it. Sean, what? Sean, no, it's what? entrepreneur. Yeah, entrepreneur. Oh. You might know me from the Dragon's Den television program. I'm from County Cavan and I've done much work for the youth of Ireland. No, stop, stop. Youth, Sean, Th youth. That's what I said. Youth. <sighs> no. A vote for me is a vote for the cute hooers of Ireland. Hooers! Yeah, hooers. Christ. I'm ultra cute. 
When people ask me if I am poor, I reply, I'm so poor, I can't eat me dinner out of a drawer like most cavern men. Because I don't have any drawers. Y you know, okay, huh? I, I think we better try for a second take here. Uh, you're some boy. Oh. You couldn't bait nails into a bog with a saucepan. Okay, okay cut! Jeez, you know, you'd be better off at the bottom of a lake. That's a Monaghan phrase, not even cavern. Ah, you have your tea, you humpy hooah. You know, you're as useless as tits on a bull, Sean. I pardon? Ah, would you go and grease the cat's ass? <laughs> Now we cross over to the offices in downtown Drumcondra of one Bartholomew Ahern, relationship counsellor. International associates, Tony Wideboy Blair and Bill Lovem and Lickham Clinton. Uh, another great result there. Uh, right, who have I now? What time is it? I better get this one settled quickly. All right, come, come on in there. Yeah, no, 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 no. How are you, Bertie? How are you? Thank you for yeah, seeing yeah. us, Bertie. Uh, we really do appreciate right. it uh, going forward. Well, uh, going back. If it isn't, yeah. Mickey Martin, uh, no, no. we're facing you like a, a country cured who sipped a bad pint. And, no, stop uh, it. Uh, <laughs> here's me old favourite, Bertie. O'Connell Keeve. Yes. Uh, the smell of cow shite off his boots. Uh. <laughs> 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 All right, what's it? Uh, do you want to get that call? We don't mind. D don't worry, lads. I'm not answering that. That's Des looking to go to China again. Oh. Yeah, just stick it on hold here. Now, what's the problem with you? <coughs> well, Bertie, oh, this we jumped up Carconian gutter what? snipe what? still doesn't realise that I must be party leader of Fianna Fáil. It's absolute rubbish. After right. all, it's nonsense. Right, you just need look into my heart to oh. see what the plain people of Ireland are thinking <laughs> and digging to. Uh, you know, I always thought you were from Mount Marion, Dev. Uh, uh, yes, uh, not, not too many plain people there, but no, what have you got to say for yourself, Mickey? Uh, well, going forward, we and need going to be... Backwards. Going forward. Lads. Going back. Lads. Going forward, lads, backwards. lads, lads, would you please settle here? There would be no nonsense like this in Charlie's time. Eh? No, no, remember no. what Mary used to say: "There'd be no more nibbling at me leader's bum." No, yeah, uh, but but the trouble with you, Mickey, is that you have no bum, uh, well, uh, let alone uh, a uh, backbone. Uh, to be fair, going forward, going uh, back. Uh, all right, going lads. forward, lads. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I tell you what we'll do here, lads. Yes. Uh, we'll go sideways. All right, uh, uh, like I always used to do when the going got r roast. Uh, so why don't you just kiss and make up? And uh, <coughs> don't forget to leave the fee for me, thanks. Oh, no, you have the check. Uh, you have the check. Uh, cash only, lads. Oh, no. And then we all go for a pint together, all right? Good man. I'll give him going forward. Going back all right, forward. everyone ready oh, to go? Back Come on. Going going back Ash, back your this council and business is handy. Should have got into it years ago. Going forward times a thousand. TV 3's late night anchor digs in and never lets go. His hair, or lack thereof, has become an institution. Excuse me, narrator, do you like my hair today? Well, <laughs> you've really entered into the spirit of the dub's victory, Vincent. What? What? Not many men of your age would dye their hair blue. Oh, that old bloody TV3 hairdressers and their bloody blue rinse. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, hello, uh, joining me on the program tonight once again is the man both he and I believe should have been the editor of the Irish Times. Yes, Squinton O'Toole. Of course. Yeah. Trouble is, we were the only people who believe that Squinton. Uh, it huh? was a conspiracy of the hegemony. Yeah, yeah, sure. Now, uh, also joining us in the show is the insufferable Matt Cooper from Yesterday FM. Hello oh. there, Vincent. Shut up, shut up, Matt. Oh. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get this whole Dublin All Ireland win rubbish out of the way first. Yeah. Dublin w won a football match. Why is that a story? You know, it's well, not. It's not like it's a real sport. Oh, Vincent. Blazing politicians in a probing and irreverent manner. Now, that's a real sport, Squinton. Well, if I might begin by saying that your blue hair is such a yeah. beautifully symbolic representation of that ultra-neo-quasi-personification uh? of the Dublin victory, per se, uh, allowing the true working man, Dub, to use the slang, yeah. to emerge from the stereotype but, and to uh, play with those stereotypes uh, within his own world view. Ask, uh, have you just eaten a 12-month subscription of the Guardian newspaper and are now proceeding to vomit? It is out of my studio. Ha ha, Vincent, per se. Well, but, but back to the football, I mean, what do you think of all of this fuss? I mean, you peeler. Yeah. Sounds like a rice to me. And Tuxton, okay. what kind of a name is that? And, and Darren McGee, what is he about? Yeah, probably related to Bishop McGee and part of the conspiracy, per se. Yeah, why do I even bother with this stuff? Sure no one is even awake at this time of the evening anyway, are they? Can I get a word in edgeways? No, no, no. I'm pushing an elephant up the stairs. Oh, this is when it all begins to go very twink. What's the frequency, Kenneth? Oh, Oh, for pity. Look, we have to go. A uh, quick look at the front pages tomorrow. Uh, a huge scandal on the front of the Irish Times. What? It's the price tag. Oh, one euro eighty-five for that rubbish. Not our fault. Anyway, we have to That's go. That's been Bye. a fault. Bye -bye. And the Catholic Bye -bye. Church. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. 
You're nobody unless your tweets have been hacked. That's apparently what happened to Ortiz Miriam O'Callaghan. <clears throat> this is Miriam Me Tweets. Oh, for fuck's sake. Not this beanpole toss. Oh, hi, Miriam. <laughs> Gosh, I was so engrossed in my latest new book on JFK, I almost missed you. Ryan Tuberty, look at you. Yeah. Have you been working out? Well, no. no. Although some of the papers say you haven't, but to mind them. <laughs> Genuine. Now, Miriam, of course, if you don't feel comfortable with this line of questioning, just like all of my guests on The Late Late, there's absolutely no need to answer me at all, but about those tweets. I know. Right. Somebody hacked into Miriam tweets and said The Late Late was complete and utter rubbish. <laughs> Can you believe it? Uh, the disbelief applies to the hacked part or the comment itself? First Scarlett Johansson and gets hacked huh. and now me wow. who's next who knows Princess Kate I'd imagine huh. genuinely oh and I got some texts from you as well really late on Friday I couldn't help but noticing must be the inner nerd of me <laughs> but the really sloppy writing the misspellings and everything what did you do on UCD anyway I must have left my phone behind at mum's party and it got hacked ah uh, and I'm really sorry to bring this up but there was just one more tiny thing Miriam yes Ryan voicemails from you horrible sloppy voicemails with vile language about the late late there was a particularly nasty one about giving one to everyone in the audience whatever that means amazing yeah I mean <laughs> the hackers are so obsessed wow they must have hired impersonators alright then well isn't that something else nothing would surprise me anymore Miriam on that does Pat Kenny have your mobile number why he's probably behind all of this <sighs> ok goodbye Miriam oh, oh f buckets. I should never have told TV now that I watched The Late Late with a bottle of plonk. I've been hacked! Oh no, <gasps> not this ass -hole. Charlie Bird has been hacked! Are you okay, Charlie darling? Somebody is on air right now posing as Charlie Bird doing a terrible radio show. Are you sure? Listen, you can, I'm listening to it on my phone right um, now. That's a podcast, Charlie. Look, I can't stop the chat, Miriam. The FBI are trying to get me off the air. Bye, Charlie. Charlie Bird coming through. Christ, this canteen really needs a VIP section. <laughs> To soccer now, and Irish legend Robbie Keane has joined LA Galaxy in La La Land. It's home to many stars, but none as big as Golden Balls himself. Mm. Um, cross, Bex. Yeah. Cross. All right, Robbie. Yeah. The cross on the all left right. there. I, look, I know how to sign my name, mate. All right. I'm sorry, Bexy. You know, you just looked a bit walked up there when you were signing for that. Yeah, it can be a bit tricky sometimes. Thanks for the nose back there. You know, it's just a decent bit of grub it was. Well, there's nothing to eat at home but baby food. Are you worried about the stick? No, no. Posh will be just fine. Yeah. You know, she thought it was Roy Keane what was joining LA Galaxy. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You know, uh, we have a lot of Keens at home. There's Posh Keane, that's Claudine. Right. Baby Keane. Yeah. Sporty Keane, that's me oh. and Scary Keen that's Roy Scary Keen I wonder how Roy is doing now these days oh, I don't know I hope he's found some walk <sighs> it's freezing here Stan yeah. I don't know if I could take this barren windswept kip for too long well it's me home Roy Dundalk home sweet home oh. the chewing gum stuck to the footpaths yeah. the smell of harp in the air the fear in the eyes of the bus loads from the heaven and more oh. then the queue outside this here job centre you know you really need a haircut stand you know that the stick well you're the gaffer right why do you keep going on with this thing gaffer well, I don't make gaffs when? we're never going to get a job if you keep saying this gaffer thing hold on those overpaid Nancy boy footballers today <laughs> they make gaffs that's true along with their flaccid yeah. overpaid football directors with their right. the prawn sandwiches right Right. They make gaffes. Right. I'm not a gaffer, Stan. Yeah. Okay? I'm not a gaffer. Well, you tell me. Oh, Jesus. I'd murder a prawn sandwich now, I would. Oh, here's the job, Stan. Huh? Derry City needs a hard man who knows how to pull the trigger. Well, that's perfect for you, Ryan. Well, I'm not sure Triggs would like the North, though. Aye, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, so you can't. <sighs> Just get your hair cut, Stan. Joseph O'Connor is my favourite Irish male. His sexy tones and razor-sharp wit make me drool with excitement. Ah, that Dublin would lose, they had no fear. There was more a chance of me sister being queer. You know, the GAA deserves a clap, but obviously, lads, you should buy a map. Seemingly London's in Connacht, New York's in Ulster, but Galway and Leinster, they mean no offence there. And the cats, they suffered some fatigue, bled to Dublin who won the league. But the natural order did return, and Cody's boys tipped they burned. For a while there they thought that Derry might even be the new Kerry. Turns out Kerry were rather the new Derry. Half the players have taken the ferry. Cork were put back in their bottom, and alas Tyrone never hit full throttle. 
but spare a thought for the lily whites. They put up with some awful shy, they were not, but their faith decreed, and blinded the Egypt who refereed. But Jesus then came Dunny Gall, apparently didn't want to play football. Defence tighter than Noonan's arse, the semi final they came apart. And then the day dawned bright and clear, and all of Dublin seemed on the beer. From Soares to Salorgan, from Condra Cabinteely, everyone getting touchy-feely. But I'll never be a fan in the GAA's eyes. My All-Ireland win is the Man Booker Prize. And Joseph O'Connor's Radio Diary was sponsored by MyHome.ie. Thousands of houses, one big black hole in the Irish Times. Pat Kenny knows more about the issues of the day than anyone else. Now it's time for the front wine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, welcome to the show. I'm here in situ with uh, Martin McGuinness of Sinn Féin. Um, is it fair to say, Martin, that uh, people such as yourself in Northern Irish politics uh, have a problem for every solution? Well, do you accept, Pat, that you are a West Brit and you've got a whole million quid from it's, RG? Well, come on, Martin. I mean, seriously. For no, once, well, Ireland has more potatoes than money. That's true, so, as president, how would you advise the country to get back to what financial wizards like myself would term the black? Well, Ireland needs 90 billion euros, and as far as I know, in the States, they're still rolling it, all right? Well, well, that has to be argued. Uh, so, we just rename the banks the IRA, yeah. and the Yanks will throw money at us, like it was the good old days. Well, it is a fascinating plan, and if oh, we consider oh, the exchange the show, rate oh, of 1.4 US no, no, dollars... stop it, Pat, stop it, but you, Martin McGuinness, you start wars. You do, you do. I wouldn't like to well, see the two of you living on the minimum industrial wage. Ew, industrial how wage. dare you? I can uh, do five or Friday with, oh. with, with Northern Bank unmarked bills or, 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 well, or how about Funny Money Friday with, with Martin I, Ferret don't yeah. you know oh, now yeah. Yeah. now yeah. well <laughs> Marty McGuinness totally <laughs> owned by Joe so Duffy there to use the online okay. parlance okay. do 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 tea is Ireland's favourite drink and nowhere more so than an Orson throwing. in fact life under President McAleese has sometimes seemed like an endless tea party but who will get to pour the tea next month and what will be in the silver teapot? Will it be a bitter Earl Grey with Gay Mitchell? Or a Dragonwell Chinese green tea with nutty aroma for Sean Gallagher? Or maybe it'll be a delicate scented Belgian Congo Lapsang for Senehor Norris? Or a dried up reused tea bag for Dana? What about a watery chamomile for Mary Davis with lots of artificial sweeteners? Oh, God forbid, Darjeeling gunpowder tea with Martin McGuinness. That leaves Michael Twee a tepid, predictable mug. Tune into green tea next week. Hold on tea. a second. This is more like orange tea. No, oh, not y this y puff Your ball. treatment of Martin McGuinness has been a disgrace. He is St. Martin of the Killing you're Fields. You're just a flower You're, you're a West Brit, and you're not fit to lace his jackboots. You now, have no you've been, you've been, uh, well, I have been known to take a bottle from time to time. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you do that all right. Uh, would you mind just tipping your hip flask into my green tea, How please? How dare you, 